All right, here are two word problems that I'd like you to, or not two word problems, two practice questions that I want you to do. This one they want from greatest to least, and this one also greatest to least. Please, please, please make sure when you list it, you start from the ones place. These are semicolons, which means that it's separating it from numbers. So it has nothing to do with, con like, these numbers are they're two completely separate numbers. They're not part of each other. Press pause, work the problems, press play when you're ready to check. Okay, to do the first question, I decided to use these tools that I have so you could see the numbers in a much larger format. Maybe if I do this, that'll help. Okay, so when I'm putting them in order from greatest to least, start from here, the hundred thousands place. It's the same. And then next one, notice they're all different. So if they want greatest, then this one gets to be first. This one is next because it's a five. And then this one is last because it's four. So here are my numbers listed from greatest to least. Okay, let's look at my next set of numbers. So we have, starting from the hundred thousands place, all the same, all the same, all the same. And then over here, these two are the same. This one is larger. So they wanted late, uh, greatest to least, so that's going to be first. Now between these two, I have to go on to the next place value. So same. And then over here, this one is less than this one. So this one is going to be next greatest. And this will be known as my least greatest. Let's do maybe a few more. All right, here's a question I'd like you to do. Order these from least to greatest. Be very, very careful. I purposely made it tricky. Press pause, work the problem, press play when you're ready to check. Okay, so let's look at those four numbers. Now remember, it's at least to greatest. I can already tell this one is greatest because there's a number in the millions place. I purposely gave you numbers to where they looked really similar and um, if you don't line them up correctly, you're going to get the wrong answer. So it's really important that you practice the skill. So now we move on and look at least. So this is 9, 3, and 9. So I can already tell that's least. So that will be first. Then between these two, 9 and 9, they're the same. I go to the next place value. That's 8, and that's 2. This is greater than this number, so this will be second in line and then this one is third in line and then obviously this is fourth this two million number let's do one more example and then I'm going to give you some questions where it wants you to put it in least to greatest but they're not just gonna flat out give you the numbers you have to kind of figure them out okay so let's look at one more example please put these in order from greatest to least press pause work the problem press play when you're ready to check Okay, let's look at all four numbers. Greatest to least. This has no hundred thousands place, so I already know that's the least. So I'm going to call that four. And then the, this one doesn't have a millions place while these do. So I'm going to make that third. So now it's between these two. I have to figure out which one is greater. And then put that one as one. And then the next one will be two. So matching and then don't match. So this one is greater than that one. So this will be first, this one will be second. Okay, so I didn't have time to write the entire word problem, but the word problem basically said which number completes, uh, fills in the blank correctly. And so you have choices A, B, C, and D. And basically whatever comes here needs to be less than this number, but greater than that number. So let's do this. I'm going to let you press pause and then play to check. Let's see if you can figure it out. And then I'm going to show you a strategy on how to solve this. These are kinds of word problems I want you to see that you might be asked on assignments and things like that. It might not just be compare and order, you know, simple like that. So go ahead and try to solve it, and then I'll go over it. Okay, so here's what I did. I wrote it 
on here. Like, so here's what I did. I wrote it on this paper, these marker board papers, and I'm going to actually try each number and determine if it's um, less than this but greater than this. So let's start with the first one, 40,000, this is answer choice A, 255. Is this less than this? So these are the same, these are not the same, this number is less than this. So yes, that works. Now is this greater than this? So these are the same, these are the same, these are not the same, this is less than this. But that's not what we want. We want this number, this part to be higher than this. So A does not work. Okay, let's look at answer choice B. It was 38,976. So again, I have to be less than this number, greater than this number. So already I can tell this number is less than this because this is four and this is three. And then I have to be greater than this number. Well, if this is three, that's three is less than four and I'm supposed to be greater than four. So answer choice B doesn't work either. Let's try answer choice C. All right, so again, this has to be less than this. So same, same, not the same. This number is larger than that number, which we don't want. We want this number to be less than this number. So answer choice C won't work. Okay, I hope answer choice D works. All right. So God, I have, this number has to be less than this number. So same, same, not the same. This is less than this, so good. And then here, this number has to be greater than this number. So same, not the same. Two is greater than zero. This number works. So answer choice D is my correct answer. Okay, let's look at another question. Which digits can replace the blank to make a true statement? So you have this number. This number has to be larger than this number, but then this number has to be less than that number. So I want you to see if you can figure it out, and then I'm going to show you a strategy that I would use to solve it. So press pause, uh, work the problem, and press play to, uh, to check. Okay, so what I did was I basically wrote these numbers, and you know what? You could do this on notebook paper easily and just keep erasing the hundreds place to check it. You, I mean, you don't have to have a marker board. So my answer choices had like four, five, six, and seven. So I'm just gonna try all the numbers out, put a check by the numbers that work, and then X out the ones that don't work, and then the answer choice that has the numbers I want is the one I'm gonna pick. So let's put a four here. So again, this number has to be, according to the question, this number has to be greater than this one, but less than this one. So um, actually, you know what? I might do it this way. Maybe that will help. So I have to be less than this number and greater than this number. Actually, you know what? I liked it the, the way I had it, sorry. Okay, so this number has to be greater than that number, but it has to be less than that number. So let's, okay, let's start with one at a time. This needs to be greater than that one. So these are the same, these are different, this number is supposed to be larger, but this is a four and that's a five, so four will not work. Okay, let's try the next one, five. 7,512, this number is supposed to be greater than that number. Five doesn't work either because these two are the same, these two are the same, these aren't, that's larger than that, but my number, this number here needs to be larger than that one, so five won't work. Let's try six. So same, different, this is larger than that. So six is working so far. And then this number has to be larger than this one. So same, different, this number is larger than that one. So six is gonna work. Let's try the last one, seven. All right, so same, different, this number is larger than that one. So seven is working so far. Same, same, different, this is larger than that, and that's correct because we want this larger, this number larger than this number. So after all that confusion, my answer is C. 
So I hope you have a better understanding about comparing and ordering uh, whole numbers. Um, you can also learn about comparing and ordering decimals too. You can find that teak in that video on my YouTube channel.